on y'all back another video for you guys today i know brie hasn't really did like a live commentary not coming from the streams it's been a little minute i know i apologize i haven't really been giving you guys consistent videos for the last two weeks i'll be going through some things thank you for everybody who's been checking up and stuff like that so by the time you guys are actually seeing the video i will be live on my let's play channel if you guys want to stay connected with me at all times i'll have my snapchat my instagram my tiktok everything you guys need to connect with me will be in the description box down below including my discord even though i haven't really been talking to discord lately you guys can always dm me if you guys always want to talk or if it's just anything in general so but we have today's video now we did this video like a short of it last week now far as the content little bit of a, i guess a channel update Re will be posting, but it's gonna be very, 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 very slow. I know MLB just came out, WWE, but Bree's trying to focus on branching off from Madden, especially since NCAA is gonna be coming out. So I kind of need a little break. I will be posting, we'll be streaming Madden stuff like that, content wise, streaming Mud Champ stuff like that. So everything be Twitch, but as far as me posting content, it's gonna be very, very slow because I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm kind of getting burnt down the game, the games for the BS, D line X factors and KOs is really not that fun. But we will be talking about this video today's topic, which is the season five, I believe, set tokens. And I know the game had a lot of issues and stuff like that. And I hope you guys watched the shorts from last season when we opened up, we got a free 94 overall. If you didn't use the token, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here in a second. So, how you guys been though? Um, I know the dailies was glitched out, I don't know if it's actually working at the moment, I'm assuming it is, so it is currently fixed which they kind of owe me three days because I did three days in a row and didn't happen. So probably saying, Bree, what are you actually talking about here? So let me show you guys what the hell I'm talking about. They implemented implemented this last season, which is the season four token, which a lot of you guys are probably gonna be making this mistake because you guys are trying to hurry up and do this stuff. Now, the reason why I think a lot of you guys probably wouldn't do it as much this year is because last, well, I'll show you guys in a second, but because it was an XP objective if you redeem one of the sets for season four, and a lot of you guys did it without actually knowing what to do. So if you guys see where it says uh, season five set token, you're gonna need at least, I believe, four or three of these. You get one at level six. I believe you get one at level uh i'm assuming level where is it at i'm sorry Le uh, level 26 look like and i think the last one's at level um 36 so like it's three i could be wrong i think it's actually four but i, I probably just skimmed through it um i don't know if it's actually another one's legendary option pack and i think that actually might be it let me see season five set token so yeah, actually, I think that's actually pretty it. So um, best advice, I know people have been asking me, Bree, how do you do it? Do your dailies. The compass isn't really giving you XP. So do your dailies, do your weeklies, and do your uh, promo um, specific um, XP. So that's how you mainly going to be leveling up as much. So if you guys come to sets, and I'm going to filter it by season pass. As you guys can see, when you first get here, I hope you guys didn't redeem this. It's going to be where it says right here. You have your season five, nine, three overall BND player fantasy pack, which I hope you guys didn't do. You also have one for um if you redeem two, you get a 94 overall. If you redeem three, you get a 95 overall. So it is four. I, I, I missed one. So it is four. So season five, nine, seven overall BND player fantasy pack. This is the one you guys want to save your tokens for. It's kind of cool that they're actually kind of doing this. So I will say this. This year has been kind of it's been it's, it's the best man I played a long time, my personal opinion. But we will be redeeming this, ladies and gentlemen, mainly because it's pretty nice and overall so a lot of people are kind of giving up playing man i don't blame you guys i'm a content creator i gotta pay the bills somehow some way even though i don't make as much money off of this like everybody else so my personal recommendation guys please do not i know some of you guys probably already did it but i hope you guys didn't do it let me know in the comments down below what's your current level and what player did you actually pick so we have these season 597 overall bnd player fantasy pack if you get to level 36 do not redeem none of those tokens for you guys so we're, going, we're kind of going to skim through this i believe it's kind of going to be the same for everybody so it just depends on who you want and stuff like that so it's going to contain Tariq woolen harrison phillips michael irvin aaron Rodgers, patrick willis vernon davis vd which i kind of need for the niners theme team ed too tall uh rasheed jones derwin james and sexy dex dexter lawrence now just going off what you guys kind of need i think personally in my personal opinion who you actually should probably potentially go with it depends on what you need do you need lineman do you need theme team or you need a, a, a really good skill position now if i kind of had to rank it i kind of wouldn't pick aaron Rodgers. out I, I mean i love slinger one but i don't think it's the best release in the game um you also have vernon davis you have ed too tall with ed strap but you run super bowl theme team i don't think so it like it kind of contains the majority of the uh like all redux's cards so um but price and Bree, who do you kind of recommend give me name five i recommend Tariq Wool. i think he'll be your number one option mainly because of their reinforcement which is really really great so i recommend him michael Irvin would probably be number two um patrick willis probably number three vernon davis number four and my last one would probably be dexter lawrence 
I know you guys are probably using Kevin Mawai. Derwin James is fine as well. Um, but those would kind of be my five saying probably Bree, who are you going to pick? It's, it's kind of tough, honestly, to be honest with you, Twin. It's very tough because I do want Vernon Davis um, on the squad. Um, but I do kind of have a tight end already. Um, he, he wouldn't be 99 speed. I could get Patrick Willis. He could be another option that we could actually add to the squad. Same speed. Uh, the Excel is better. So I might end up picking picking Patrick, to be honest with you, um, because I do run a Niners theme team or whatsoever. So um, to be honest with you guys, these are actually really, really good choices. So um, if I was running the Super Bowl theme team style, I'd probably pick him. But my recommendation, honestly, for you guys would be Tariq Woolen, probably be Dexter Lawrence, uh, Michael Irvin. And this Harrison Phillips is not that bad either. So those would be my kind of main three. But I'm going to pick Patrick Willis, man, because I do run a Niners theme team. I probably could pick Woolen because I have his LTD version. And I could do so LTD Woolen, pick him up. Uh, actually, let me see. Give me a second. I'm, let me see how much is Woolen. Hold on. I'm going to go with, uh, I'm probably going to go with Patrick Willis, y'all. Because uh, I do run a Niners theme team. So I, I, I'm probably nine times out of ten is going to go with Patrick because I feel like he's going to last a long time. So. I'm going with Patrick Willis. Let me know in the comments down below who you guys pick, and we can talk about it.